aircraft hangar in Cornwall. And this is Bloodhound. A vehicle designed not just to break the world land speed record, but to smash it. It's taken 10 years and about 30 million pounds to get to this point, and the car's finally ready for testing. Now, I've been following this story for a long, long time. Full disclosure, my name, along with about 30,000 other supporters, is on that tail fin. Teams worked for the very best, Aston Martin, Williams Formula One, McLaren Formula One and Rolls-Royce. They make very complicated things and they make them go very fast. Here we've got a Eurofighter Typhoon engine, EJ200. We've made the car think this is inside an aircraft. When we run in South Africa at 1,000 miles an hour, we go 200 miles an hour faster than the jet fighter this comes from at that speed. This nozzle, we've got the reheat here. So here we have all the, fl all the extra energy we get, we put fuel in the back of the engine, all that gutters, all those things you see in the inside there, that's to control the flame. We then come through the nozzle, and you'll see the shock diamonds as you come out. So you'll see supersonic flow, and that will be generating something like eight tons of thrust, and Andy will get up to around about 200 miles an hour in probably around about nine seconds. That is an awful lot quicker than a Bugatti Veyron. So who would you want in the driver's seat? How about a man who's not only an RAF fighter pilot, but also the holder of the existing world land speed record. There are lots of things you need to get right to keep it safe. So it's about taking the same approach that I take to aviation of getting all the details in the right place, making sure that we don't make any critical mistakes, and you can do this repeatedly and safely. As a team, there is the challenge, taking all the disparate people, getting them together and doing it safely as a team. So am I nervous? Yes. My performance has to be up to the standards of their engineering and their technical skills every single day. That's a good challenge to have. Turn around and check out Andy. Now we're at the top of the tail fin. Take a look down. That's 20,000 pounds of thrust, taking Bloodhound from zero to 192 miles an hour in nine seconds. Now that is impressive. Seeing the car go down the runway, seeing Andy effortlessly put the power down and seeing it disappear down that runway, it, it's really hard, you know, it's really emotional. You, you kind of, you see that thing go down there and it seems so effortless, but it's just this huge relief, passion, this whole excitement of, of wow, you know, and, and you kind of see it light up and off it goes. This car is going to do incredible things going forward. And, yeah, being part of that for the first time, that's amazing. 